one will notice when you read the Quran that the Quran is very self-referential, that it often refers to itself as that is the book about, it starts out in the second chapter, that is the book about which there is no doubt, guidance for believers, and it says uh, uh, this Quran, if this Quran had been sent down on a mountain, it would have been split asunder out of fear of uh, uh, God. And um, it, it's very frequent, almost in every page and almost in every surah, that there is self-reference to the uh, Quran from a um, view simply of looking at the text in the, the Bible does not contain this type of self-referentiality uh, except rarely. The prophets in the Bible sometimes begin with a sentence saying the word of God came to so-and-so, son of so-and-so, and you know, so the implication is that is a self-reference. And the other exception is the book of Revelation at the very end of the Bible has a considerable amount of self-reference in it, but the other books generally do not. Um, and that could be good or bad, depending on your point of view. It doesn't, of course, really say anything necessarily, but it does have certain consequences uh, when people are following the religion. And that says, this is a book from God that is stated directly in the book repeatedly. And so it's not something like one can come along easily then and say, well, you know, this is just some kind of later compil compilation by well-intended people who may have been sort of vaguely guided by a spirit or something and, and therefore has some kind of uh, truth to it. But rather, it's kind of definitive, definite, uh, separating and differentiated from other speech, which is outside and apart from it. And the assertion of the Muslims also is that this revelation is distinct from other utterances of the Prophet, which are called the Hadith, and which are found in the other book that you've been given here, this one. Of course, this is a mere sample of a few Hadiths. The actual total number of Hadiths is unknown. Nobody has ever counted them, because a lot of them are sort of resemblant to each other, but not exactly. So what do you count as a different Hadith? You count if just one letter is different, or one word, or there's an extra sentence in it, or, you know, it's very hard to count how many different hadiths there are. But um, the total number would certainly be less than 50,000, and it might not even amount to more than 20,000, perhaps. In this book, there are actually 44 separate traditions, even though it says uh, 40 hadith, and even though the traditions are numbered up through hadith 42, but two of them have two different ones under one heading. Anyway, that's that book. Now, that represents also the acts and the speech of the prophet and so forth, but it is not taken as being a revelation in the same sense that the Quran is a word-for-word -word revelation from God. And so there is a difference in that respect. It is not taken in the same sense. 